हेलो गेट एस्पिरेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट 15 ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थ्योरी सीरीज क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 एन अनपोलराइज्ड प्लेन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव इन अ डायइलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम 1 इज इंसिडेंट ऑन अ प्लेन इंटरफेस दैट सेपरेट्स मीडियम 1 फ्रॉम अनदर डायइलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम 2 मीडियम 1 एंड मीडियम 2 हैव रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडाइसेस n1 एंड n2 रिस्पेक्टिवली विद n2 ग्रेटर देन n1 इफ द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज tan इनवर्स ऑफ n2 बाय n1 व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज ट्रू so here n2 is greater than n1 so it is going from denser to rarer medium and tan inverse of n2 by n1 so this is brewster's angle that means it will undergo polarization so reflected wave will be polarized and it will be perpendicular to plane of incidence so option c is correct here next question an infinitely long cylinder of radius r carries if frozen in magnetization here m bar is given m bar is equal to k e raised to minus s z cap where k is a constant and s is the distance from the axis of cylinder the magnetic permeability of free space is mu not there is no free current present anywhere the magnetic flux density b bar inside the cylinder is here we can use line integral of h dl is equal to if free current which is equal to 0 so from here we'll get h is equal to 0 and b is equal to mu not in bracket m plus h since h is equal to 0 this will be mu not into m and m is given so this will be mu not into k e raised to minus s z cap so here option c is correct next question the electric field in a region depends only on x and y coordinates as e bar is equal to k x x cap plus y y cap so this is basically r r bar vector so this will be k into r bar upon x square plus y square so that is r square where k is a constant the flux of e through the surface of sphere of radius r with its center at origin is n pi k r where value of n is surface integral e bar dot da bar so this will be equal to surface integral of this r bar can be written as r cap आर बार कैन बी रिटर्न आर इंटू आर कैम सो दिस विल बी के आर बार अपॉन सो दिस आर आई विल राइट आर कैप इन सो के इंटू आर कैप इंटू आर सो दिस विल बी के बाय आर इंटू दिस सो वी हैव के बाय आर आर कैप इंटू आर स्क्वेर साइन थीटा डी थीटा डी फाइव आर कैप so this will be equal to now this r and r will cancel out and we are taking on the surface so that small r will be capital r so this will be k into capital r and integral over sin theta d theta d phi now theta is going from 0 to pi and phi will take values from 0 to 2 pi and integral of sin theta d theta d phi is 4 pi so this will be k into r into 4 pi so comparing it with n pi k r we will get n is equal to 4 and answer in the answer key is 4 to 4 next question in a parallel plate capacitor the plate at x is equal to 0 is grounded and the plate at x is equal to d is maintained at potential b not the space between the two plates is filled with linear dielectric of permeability epsilon is epsilon not in bracket 1 plus x by d where epsilon not is permittivity of free space neglecting the edge effects the electric field inside the capacitor is now here we will use this del dot of d is equal to rho f but there is no free charge density so this will be equal to zero that means this electric a displacement it will be some constant now electric displacement can be written as epsilon into e but epsilon is given it is epsilon not into 1 plus x by d into e and this is equal to some constant let it be k now we can write this as d plus x upon d into epsilon not into e is equal to k i can take this epsilon not and d on the right hand side so this will be x plus d 
into e is equal to let it be some other constant c because epsilon naught and d are constants so this let it be some new constant now here we can write e is equal to c upon x plus d now e can be written as minus dou v by dou x that is equal to c upon x plus d so from here dou v is equal to minus of c upon x plus d into dou x so we can integrate on both sides so from here we will get v is equal to minus of c and this will be ln of x plus d and plus some constant let it be a uh, let it be some k dash now it is given that at x is equal to 0 v is equal to 0 so we'll use this so this means 0 is equal to minus c ln of d is plus k dash so from here we will get value of k dash to be equal to c minus c ln d so v is equal to minus c ln of x plus d plus c into ln of d so v is equal to c and this is minus of this so ln of x upon x plus d this is value of v now again second boundary condition is given that is at x is equal to d v is equal to v naught so this will be v naught is equal to c in bracket we have x upon now here we will write x is equal to d so this will be d upon sorry here it is d so d upon d plus d that is 2d so that is c into ln of 2 or you can write minus of c into ln of 2 so from here value of c is minus v naught by ln of 2 so v is equal to minus v naught of ln of 2 into we have ln of d upon x plus d now this can be written as v naught upon ln of 2 and then we can separate this ln of d minus this and minus minus n will uh, will will multiply by minus 1 so ln of x plus d minus of ln of d now e is equal to minus of dou v by dou x so minus of this so first term is this v naught by ln of 2 ln of this uh, so 1 upon x plus d and derivative of x that is 1 and for the second term it will be 0 because there is no x term so e is equal to minus v naught upon ln by ln 2 upon 1 1 upon x plus d so option a is correct here next question two point charges of charge plus q each are placed at a distance 2d apart so we have one charge here plus q and plus q they are separated by distance 2d a grounded solid conducting sphere of radius a is placed midway between them its radius is a and it is grounded so it is connected to ground so its potential will be zero assume a square is much smaller than d square which of the following statements is and r are true now let us take one by one now here we have option b the potential at the surface of sphere is zero since it is grounded it is true potential will be zero so option b is first correct then the total induced charge on the sphere is now here we will use the met method of image charges so here if this distance is some a and this charge is q and this radius is r then charge induced on it q dash is given by minus of r by a into q this is the formula we have so we will calculate this here this distance is here a is d so and this radius is a this will be a by d here and we have two charges so it will be two times of it so q dash will be two times minus of a by d into q that is minus of 2 a q minus of 2 a q upon d so option c is also correct now option d is the potential at the center of sphere is non-zero but if you consider at the center of sphere then this is plus q minus q and this is uh, at that point it will be zero only so that means option d is wrong it will be zero and now we have to check for option a 
Now the case is we have three charges here plus q charge plus q charge and in between we have minus 2aq by d charge. Let us calculate force. We will consider this particular particle. This is negatively charged. So this will be attracted towards it and this will repel it. So there are two forces acting on it in the opposite direction and we will calculate net force. Now force of attraction it is equal to k into first charge that is minus 2aq by d into second charge is q upon separation and separation between these two is d so this will be upon d square and for the second case for repulsion we have this distance q first charge is q second charge is q upon separation is 2d so this will be 4d square now for the force the net force acting on the charges is directing towards each other that means this force should be large this force of attraction should be large so that means minus of k into 2a q square this is a 2a q square upon this will be d cube here in the denominator this has to be greater than this so this is k q square upon 4 d square so k q square by d square it will cancel out k q square upon d square here we will have d so minus of 2a by d is greater than 1 by 4 so that means a should be minus sign we are considering for force only so let us consider the magnitude part only so a is equal to a is greater than d by 8 so if a is greater than d by 8 then that force will be attractive force so option a is also correct so here option a b and c are correct next question an oscillating electric dipole of moment d of t is equal to d naught cos omega t z cap is placed at origin as shown in figure consider a point p at a very large distance from the dipole here r theta and phi are spherical polar coordinates which of the following statement is and r are true for the intensity of radiation now intensity of radiation emitted by oscillating electric dipole it is given by this expression i of theta that is intensity at angle theta is equal to p naught square omega raised to 4 upon 32 pi square epsilon naught c cube into r square into we have sine square theta where i of theta is intensity at angle theta p naught is amplitude of dipole moment omega is angular frequency of oscillation of dipole r is distance from the dipole to the observation point theta is angle between dipole axis and line of observation point and from here we can see that i of theta is proportional to sine square of theta so for first option if it is on the z axis then theta will be either 0 or theta will be pi in both the cases intensity will be then 0 so option a is correct now for option b intensity is 0 at here theta is equal to pi by 2 so if theta is equal to pi by 2 then i of theta it will be maximum so it won't be 0 so option b is wrong then for option c intensity at this point is greater than and in option d it is given equal to so let us calculate when theta is equal to pi by 4 then i of theta it will be equal to or let us take ratio of these two so this will be i2 upon i1 it is proportional to sine square theta so this will be sine square theta by 2 upon sine square theta by 4 so this is 1 upon 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 so for theta by 2 it will be twice that of pi by 4 so this will be greater than and not equal to so here option a and c are correct so these were all the questions from gate 2024 paper if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos keep learning